So first half record, second half record. See, this is one of the interview question they will ask, right? So segregate first half, second half record into two different target. So for this, I will create two different target here. This is first half. This is second half. See the logic here. Okay, so why they are asking this question to understand the expression and understand the aggregator transformation completely. So that's why they are they want to test it whether you are clear on aggregator all this, right? Second half. So here I'm getting hundred records. You assume that there are hundred records are available. So from one, two, three, four, like this, you have hundred number of records. Okay. So example I'm saying hundred is the source record we are getting from the source. Hundred record we are getting from the source. So that means one to fifty we have to load it here. Right? Then fifty one to hundred I have to load it here. Fifty one to hundred. See today, like a hundred records we are getting. Tomorrow it might be one fifty record. Day after tomorrow it might be a more records, right? Like a, tomorrow it might be a thousand records. So different way. So I cannot hard code the number of records. See, first of all, I have to find out how many records we are getting. So from the source, how many records I'm getting? So just we have to count it. So how can I count? So you have to go for aggregator. So aggregator transformation. Use aggregator to count it. So how many records here we are having? Okay, total 100 records I have. Okay, so take count. And this is one parallel, one pipeline. Another pipeline I'm going to take with source data, right? So this data only, the source data only, I have to segregate to. So here, 100 I have taken. So here, all the 1 to 100, I'm getting from the source. I'm going to use sequence to generate 1 to 100. Okay, for all this, I'm going to use sequence generator to generate 1 to 100. Yes, I will use. So here, I have to combine these two into single pipeline. So how can I combine these two into single pipeline? Is it possible to combine directly? No, we cannot pa pass it by using aggregator and expression. We cannot take it to expression, right? Can I take this aggregator into expression? No, we cannot take it. So here I have to take joiner, right? So I have to use joiner here. But so what basis I have to take? Joiner. So here I have count. So here I have count. How count only I have taken, right? So this one just a count only. But what basis I have to join it? So based on employee ID or something, I have to count join. So for that, I'm going to create one port called dummy port. Okay. So one port, I'm going to create dummy. Just simply I'm going to pass values one. Okay, so dummy one I'm going to create. So this one and this one, I'm going to join it. Okay, this dummy one, this dummy one, I'm going to join it. I'm going to get it. But if you are joining this way, so don't forget to use sorted input. So sorted input property, you have to enable it in the joiner. So after that, we can get all this into one, one particular transformation. So after getting into one transformation, you can go for the router. So router, you just create two different, two different groups. Okay. So one group for routing it, one group for first half. So you, how can I do first half? See, what is the sequence number I have generated? So that sequence number, right? Yes. Sequence number. 1 to 100 less than or equal to total, right? So total sequence, total we have found count. So count divided by 2, right? So count is divided by 2. That means, so here I will get count is 150. So sequence number less than or equal to 50, then here by default, the other record will go, right? So you can go for default one. So default group, yes, we'll have 
rest of the one right see you may get count is like a 101 so that time you can go for rounding off so this one you can give it to one target second half can give it to one target see this is the logic see first we have to understand the logic then we have to go to the transformations okay so now i will take i will create two different target table here okay first half second half create table table name the table name is go for t underscore employees employees table i will take first half i select start from t underscore employees where one equal to two so just i'm going to create the structure i have created right so i'm going to create one more table second half second half here so this is the way i have created so these two are tables are created newly you can see here select start from this one select start from the first one first half okay so here i can use first half here so first half okay so how can i implement this in iacs so i'll go to new mapping so create a new mapping so give the mapping name m underscore first half second half use source here go to source so you can choose a source connection and take the source table i'm going to take any table you can take i'm going to take oracle source so you can take any connection here and first we have to use the aggregator right yes we have to use aggregator here as i told so use aggregator here open this go to aggregate so i have to create one field here so what is the field i have to create so you can refer this see count field i have to create right o underscore count it is like a decimal yes you can use decimal here then i have to use count so what is the aggregation value so count of employee id see key column value i can use so count of employee id it will make the count it will give you the count so here i have to create one more port as well what is the port i have to use dummy port o underscore dummy so dummy one i'm creating okay so dummy one so i because here also i'm going to create dummy there also i'm going to create dummy it should not create like a conflict name conflict so that's why i'm creating o underscore dummy one okay so this one i have completed then i'll go to the second one the second pipeline i have to use expression right so use expression here the parallel pipeline so take expression so open this expression out the expression here so here i have to find out the sequence number 1 to 100 see how can i get the sequence number variable port right p underscore sequence it's a decimal so this is way this is the way we will generate sequence number by using expression v sequence plus one validate it should be a variable port don't forget to give us variable port so i have to take this variable port outside the sequence outside then o underscore sequence number okay so sequence of number sequence o underscore sequence okay it's a decimal we have to assign the sequence value this variable sequence to this one right yes you have to use this way click on ok see so found the sequence here so after getting the sequence then what is the one you have to create one more port so i have to create one more port o underscore dummy two so just i'm creating with two different one so this is also decimal and here also i have to make one just simply i'm making one to join these two flow i'm just giving one okay just we have created so here i have to give joiner so i have to join right 
So take the joiner and joiner, you can see one is detail, one is master. So whichever I'm getting detail, see the source expression. So take it to detail. Detail is the left table, master is the, the right table. So you can take this master. So open this joiner. Go to join condition. So again, we are getting the conflict here. Go to resolve field. Aggregator. So prefix. So you can make aggregator or count whatever it may be underscore. So expression. So expression is source, right? Yes, source underscore. That's it. Okay, just I'm giving the name. So here we are getting the dummy port. Okay, I'm getting dummy port from aggregator string. I have to change it actually, right? So here decimal. So it's not the correct one. I have to make it from aggregator. The dummy port should be. It should be a decimal, not not a string. Okay, go to joiner. Yeah, these, these are all some mistake we made too, but make sure that both are like decimal and decimal. Yes. After that, you have to go to advanced. So don't forget to give sorted input. So since we are taking from the same source qualifier, so we have to give sorted input. Then here, I have to go for joiner, then segregate the data. So I have to use router transformation. Use router here, take the data, open this router, just to create two groups, one group for first half, the other group you can use it for default one, right? Yes. So you can use this one as advanced. So what is the condition here I have to use? Whatever the sequence number I'm getting. So source underscore sequence number. Yeah, this is the one, right? Source underscore sequence number. This one I'm getting from the source. Less than or equal to the count. So count divided by two, I have to make. If the count I'm going to get like a, the odd number, I have to round off, right? So I can give round off. So make use of the function appropriately and use it. It will go to one group. The other one will go to other group. Go here. So you can take this one. So this one router, so we are taking first half. Yes, open this target. Go to target here. So you can search the table here. So first half table, so you can provide here. Truncate field mapping, you can give all the field mapping, right? Yes, from the source, make sure that it is coming from the source, all the columns. Then you can take the second half. One more target. Go to target, drag and drop the target here. So if you want, you can rename it. Take a first half, right? First half and second half. Default one. Open this to target. So I'm going to choose the target connection. I'm going to give a target object here. Same way, first half and second half. Second half table, choose. And I'm going to do the truncate and load, field mapping, smart map, right? So it will be mapped, you can save this. Mapping should be valid. Make sure that before running, the mapping should be valid or not, okay? So after that, you can run it. So in IACS, we can run mapping alone. If you want to create a task, yes, you can create a task, and then you can run it. So on top of the mapping, you can create a task, and then you can run it, okay? So running, got succeeded. So you can see here, Total 106 record. So 53 record for first half, 53 record for second half. 
so you can check it here 1 to 52 152 first off okay 153 to the 301 the second half so you can check count of rows 53 okay clear so this is the way you have to build a logic for first half and second half records so you have to use carefully here so here the the learning is so how to use ex aggregator how to use expression and how to join the transformation data from the same source qualifier to join right so we have to use this way see sometimes in real time project also we may take count value so count value we may take so in that case so you have to take this way this way only you have to take so if i want to take count count of all the values I have to go for this way 